blog here in this uh, geometry lesson, fourth grade geometry lesson, is called line symmetry. Okay, so our common core is there, and our essential question is how can we check if a shape has uh, symmetry with a line? Okay, so symmetry, uh, it's easiest to explain by if you fold a piece of paper in half so that both halves are equal right here. So here I have a green piece of paper, and I folded it right here. Well, that fold right there is called a line of symmetry because each side of the line, they're like mirror images of each other. They're congruent to each other. This side is the same size as this side and the same shape and everything. So if they fold down right on top of each other, then that fold line is called a line of symmetry. So what does it mean for an object to have a line of symmetry? Well, if an object were folded in half, both parts would be exactly the same. All right, what are some of the things that you can see in the classroom that have lines of symmetry? Well, you know, there's all kinds of things in the classroom. Uh, your teacher, if you had a line right down the middle of your teacher, uh, uh, he or she, would that would be the line of symmetry. Or, you know, but something easier like a, a classroom wall or a whiteboard or a window. The floor has lines of symmetry and so on. So how about outside? Where are there lines of symmetry outside? Well, there's all kinds of things outside also. I just listed a couple. A leaf, a plane, uh, a garbage can, anything. You know, that's, uh, if you could, if you could uh, slice it right in the middle and they're both congruent on both sides, uh, that would be called a line of symmetry. Okay, so one type of symmetry is found in geometric shapes. It's, uh, it's called the line of symmetry. We've been talking about that. So uh, if a figure has a line of symmetry, it can be folded about a line like we just did so that its two parts will match up exactly. So these letters, for example, have lines of symmetry. Can you see this line right here, this line of symmetry? If I folded it right down, right down the middle of that guy, it would have what's called a vertical line of symmetry right here. So this would be the vertical line of symmetry right there. See how this side, if I folded it over, it would land right on this side right here. So if, it's, if it lands right on top of the other one, then that is a, a line of symmetry. So um, uh, here's some other lines. This would not be a line of symmetry right here because if I folded, you know, the top half of the A right down on the bottom half right there, that wouldn't be congruent. They're not the same. So, so that is not a line of symmetry. This is not a line of symmetry right here, okay? Because if I folded this part over, it wouldn't land right on that one. The only part is if I folded it right down the middle like this guy, then the left side would fall right on top of the right side right there. So there's a line of symmetry. This one, what do you think? Yes or no? I'm going to say no, because if I folded right down on that line right there, this part would not fold over and cover up this part completely. So, so the only line of symmetry is this vertical line of symmetry. Okay, Here's another letter that has two lines of symmetry. It has a horizontal line of symmetry. Can you see this top half going down on the bottom half? It also has a vertical line of symmetry. Can you see this left side being folded over there? Okay, So H has a horizontal and a vertical. All right, B B has, uh, this B has a horizontal line of symmetry. If I folded it, whoops, if I folded it um, uh, right down the middle right there, this top half looks like it would fold down right on top of this one here. So this one has a, a horizontal line of symmetry. Okay, So a vertical line goes up and down, a horizontal line goes left and right, and a diagonal goes uh, doesn't go up or down or left or right. It goes um, to any two non-consecutive vertices if you're talking about a polygon. Okay, so that would be like a diagonal. So it doesn't go up, down, or left, or right. Okay, all right. So let's try an activity here. Let's explore line symmetry. So if you if you in your classroom and your teacher has these, um, then then pause the busy video and then um, stencil uh, get some stencils out and get the letter W out and and trace the letter W. Um, and we're going to see if the letter W has uh, symmetry. Okay. So uh, we're going to use our stencil to trace out the letter W, capital W or lowercase w, doesn't matter, and then use your scissors to cut out the letter. Okay, so once you've done that, you have that, hopefully. Okay, all right, and then what I'm going to ask you to do next is to fold uh, the tracing over a vertical line. So I am going to put a vertical line right down here. Okay, so. I'm going to fold that baby right down there, and then I'm going to fold this side over here on this side right here, and you'll see that right there. 
Okay, now can you see it folds right on top? And so since they're congruent to each other, um, then the two parts of the folded of the W match exactly. So the folded line is called the line of symmetry right there. Okay, so the letter W has a line of symmetry. Okay, all right. Uh, so why is it important to fold the line to check to see if the shape has a line of symmetry? Well, that way you can see if the two parts match exactly when you're doing that. Okay, so let's try the same thing with the letter W. So get the letter W out and trace it out, you guys. So use your stencil and trace out the letter, I'm sorry, let's say W, the letter L, and then use your scissors to cut out that letter. So there's my letter L right there, and then let's do a vertical line. So uh, fold the trace over a vertical line. So I put the vertical line right there. Okay, you could have put it right here if you wanted to, but a vertical line. Can you see that this side is not equal to this side right here? So that does not have a vertical line of symmetry. So let's uh, unfold it and then do a horizontal line symmetry. So here's a horizontal line symmetry, and you could have folded the horizontal line anywhere on there. I just chose it right there. This top half is not congruent to the bottom half, so it does not have a vertical. How about a diagonal? Open it up and Fold it diagonally, anywhere diagonally. I chose to do it right there. Well, it looks like it's almost, you guys, but it, it's not. This side's a little bit longer than this side, so this one does not have a diagonal. So, do any parts match any of the figures? So, no, they don't match when you fold it over right there. So, uh, the letter L does not have a line of symmetry. Okay, so do these letters have lines of symmetry? Okay, let's check out this guy right here. Let's check out N. Let's see if I fold it horizontally, anywhere horizontally. What about right there in the middle? Does it look like the top half uh, would be congruent to the bottom half? No, uh -uh, it doesn't do it that way. How about if I did a vertical? Maybe a vertical right here. Would a vertical do it? Uh, it doesn't look like it, huh? How about a diagonal, you guys? Let's check a diagonal. If I did folded it right down here, would it, would it be the same? I don't think so, you guys. So N doesn't have a line of symmetry. Okay, how about K? Does K have a line of symmetry? Well, if I did a vertical, no, but check this out. I think it does right here if I did a, a horizontal line of symmetry right there. Okay, so right there, it does look like the top half would fall down on the bottom half right there. So K does. How about, oops, I should have just left that there. Let me see. If I, yep, okay. How about G? If I did G, if I folded it anywhere right there. No, this side doesn't look like it's this side right there. How about if I did a vertical? If I did a vertical. Uh, it doesn't look like it right there. Horizontal? I don't think a horizontal would, so G doesn't. Man, O has all kinds, you guys. There's one. Has a vertical. Has a horizontal. Even has diagonals, you guys. Check this out. If I, see, if I did this diagonal right here, right there, this side would fold down on this side right here. There's all kinds. There are actually infinitely many lines of symmetry on the letter O. Okay, so do any of these letters have more than one line of symmetry? Uh, have more than one line of symmetry. Whoops, I said uh, um, uh, K doesn't, you guys. I made a mistake. K, uh, K has a line of symmetry. Uh, it only has a horizontal line of symmetry. Uh, but O is the only one that has uh, more than one line of symmetry. So um, I'm going to just say uh, O does. Let me take that back out. K doesn't. Yes, O does. O does. Uh, K has a horizontal line of symmetry. It only has this horizontal line of symmetry. That's the only one that it has right there. But it doesn't have any more uh, lines of symmetry. And this is asking, does it have more than one line of symmetry? So this one only has one line of symmetry. This one has more than one line of symmetry. The letter H has more than one line of symmetry, too. Remember it had that horizontal and vertical one? Uh, okay, so do the following polygons have lines uh, have line symmetry? Okay, how about this guy? Does this have line symmetry? Yeah, there's a couple of diagonal line symmetries. If I did um, uh, this one right here and this one right here, can you see this side folding right on this side? Or this side folding right on this side? So yes, this one has diagonal line symmetry. It doesn't have anything else, you guys. If I, if I did a horizontal line symmetry right there, this top part would come down over here, not over here. It has to cover it up. It has to fold right on top, you guys. How about this guy? Does this guy have line symmetry? Well, if I did this right here, does it look like it's going to be the same? It doesn't, huh? How about if I did um, this one right here, this diagonal? Yeah, it's not the same, you guys, but what if I did this, you guys, right down the middle of this? 
okay so yes there is a line of symmetry it just doesn't go to two vertices you guys it does go to this one vertice but not down here this side would fold over on this side and um, this is called a regular polygon because all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal and if it's a regular polygon then they definitely have lines of symmetry somewhere it's usually right down the middle right there okay how about this guy right here does that have a line of symmetry let's see if I did if I did this guy right here Oops, right there. Uh, this side looks bigger than that side, doesn't it? Doesn't it? How about this one right here? Let me take that out of there. Let me get that because it gets confusing when you get too many in there. How about if I folded it right there? No, this side looks bigger than that side. I'm going to say no. That one doesn't have any line of symmetry right there. Okay, so a line of symmetry is just where you fold it in half, if you could fold it in half, and, and one side goes on top of another side and covers it up, like this side goes over here, or this side goes over here, okay, or this side here goes over here, but if it doesn't fold right on top of the other side, then it's not called a line of symmetry. All right, I hope that helps you guys. Take care.